It's the most wonderful time of the year. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to The Sims 3 Seasons. We are going to explore the winter season this time and go to the winter festival that it just let us know. But while she goes to work right now, um, we are very close to mastering the cooking skill. Almost at level 10. So let's read that book and get that up there while she's at work. Hopefully. And also, Merry Christmas. I believe it's going to be about Christmas Eve when this goes up. Uh, 2019. So hopefully it's good if you celebrate it. If not, enjoy the silence that winter brings with the snow. I haven't seen snow in a while. Never move to the south. It's terrible. The plants are all dead. Well, that's to be expected. You know, I just learned a random Christmas fact. You know the song Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree by Brenda Lee? She was 13 years old when she recorded that song. That's mind-boggling to me. I, don't, I also don't know why I didn't know that before now. But her voice sounds so mature in that song. And she was 13? That's, that's just nuts. That's also one of my favorite Christmas songs, if I had to pick one. He's gonna get it. Yes, there it is! Lobster Thermidor. And check the bookstore. Yes. We did it. But that's not the lifetime wish just yet. We still got to climb the ranks of the ladder. We're close. But it said check the bookstore, so I am curious. Well, yeah, okay. Baked Angel Food Cake and then Ambrosia. That thing, that book is expensive to buy at the actual bookstore. And the ingredients to actually make it, you cannot serve it. You, you have to always pick the option, have dinner or have breakfast. You can't say serve. It's not available. So it's a single serving thing. And whoever eats it goes back to day one of their current life state. And if a ghost eats it, they become a living human sim again. I think whatever age that they are. I think I have that right. Maybe it makes you young again. I think it just keeps resetting. Yeah, because eating a life fruit takes one day off, but eating the ambrosia resets it all the way back to day one of that life stay. That's right. There are ways to go back to previous ones, though. Aha! Another promotion. Wow, a plant tender, huh? Put my heart in a blender. She wants to improve the handiness skill, but she's already happy, apparently, so she's going to get promoted again, eventually. Getting up there. What is she? Level 5. Okay. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Level 10 gardening, just like that. Two skills mastered in one video. Ah, yes, the Omni plant. What that is, you can feed it, and then it grows whatever you feed it. Limited, of course. You can't, like, feed it a toilet. I don't think. Maybe you can. <laughs> I don't know. But they also have been learning fishing. I've once again played a little bit off-screen just to get to winter, because it does get repetitive. <laughs> and so, under the heavy snowfall of winter, away from the hustle and bustle, the good old days life continued, scrubbing the same toilets and watering the same plants. All right, our days off are synchronized. It is now time for the Central Park Winter Festival with Esther Atkins. That's our another goal. We have to get married to her because we've just been partners this whole time. I just made the assumption that we were married, but then I forgot that's a thing you could actually do. And I think it's also a separate party, so we may be having a wedding party. But here in the Winter Festival, um, there's some fun stuff. First of all, it looks amazing because the snow is awesome. But the pond is frozen. We can ice skate. There are too many people skating here. I see no... Oh, there's two people. There's so much more room. Sims limitations. Build a snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? Because this guy does. I like building the snowman, so yes, we will. Go snowboarding. Yes, that's a thing. And then there's also this roller rink, which is the same, but... Actually, it is ice skating. That's right. And you can have a snowball fight. Let's see if we can do that with just the two of us. Sometimes a person randomly comes over and then everybody's stuck waiting. Just a pain in the neck. 
So hopefully that doesn't happen and it lets us get going with the snowball fight. Because obviously this thing's built for multiple sims. That jingle, I still haven't quite figured out what it's associated with. Like, I think if we're going to go ice skating, rather than do it on the rink, we should do it on a pond because they both have that wish anyway. I see a little campfire pit there, but no chairs. Very white. It's a nice day for a white wedding. Because we do have to do that. Let's ice skate. We already got the points needed for the snowball fight. There's not really much else going on there. Pretty quiet and silent, really, I suppose. As you would expect of winter. Hang on. Ask to join. There we go. Sometimes you gotta pause it because the sims just start walking and you can't, your cursor can't lock onto them fast enough or something. That's a photo booth down this alleyway where she's headed. That blue tent right there. I think that's where you take your photo and make the greeting card thing that they almost always by default want as soon as they arrive on this lot. But now we can ice skate together, so that's cool. This was obviously a wish that was just satisfied. The skate, oh, there they are. I was gonna say they're not spawned yet. I know my old laptop, they like, never spawned, so. Yes, we're zooming around now. I guess she was a little bit behind. Uh, spin. It's too dangerous to attempt this right now. You should wait until you're more comfortable skating. Spin with... What? There's nobody there. I know they... Remember when we first zoomed in here? There was that, like, couple holding hands and spinning in a circle? Yeah, I know you could do that. I don't know why it won't let me select. Ah, this game. Maybe you have to ask them to join when you're already on it. I don't know. It's, I'm just assuming the game is messing up. We have the ability to spin solo. <laughs> wow. There's nothing weird about that at all. What's that movie? Not Talladega Nights, but it's the other one that's got Will Ferrell in it and the other guy. All right, well, now that they both can spin solo, now can they spin together? No, of course not. They can skate backwards, though. I forget the name of that movie, though. It's weird. I only went ice skating once in my life when I was a kid, and I remember my sister fell and hurt her knee really bad when we did go. So then, while that my mom was tending to that, I went and played Street Fighter Two on the arcade machine that was also in that same place. Oh, yeah, snowboarding. I almost forgot. This thing's pretty neat. This has been around since The Sims 1 Vacation. That's the pack I played the most out of The Sims 1. Well, no, House Party at first. That was the good one. And live in large House Party. I mean, all of The Sims 1 was good for back then. It's kind of tough to go back to now. But, um... Yes, oh, that jingle. <laughs> I don't know what to do about it, honestly. Seriously! <laughs> Alright, come on and build the snowman already. So I guess most of this we have seen already at university. That was a- oh, she bailed. It looked cool for a second. I really do want them to go all out with The Sims and make an expansion pack that they've never made before. That does let you manually control so many little details about stunts or things like that. But I guess that's a whole different game. Is it done? What did we get this time? That's the classic snowman. There we go. So we've seen him and the hockey one. I don't remember how many other ones there are. I don't know if I want to build five of them. Bill is already feeling chilly. I see that mood lit down there. She is not, though. She has a million flame fruits in her pocket, and that keeps you warm, I believe. We'll have them snowboard together, and then I think we've already seen everything there is to see. So, really, the benefit of seasons is the weather. These festivals are neat, I suppose, but as you can see... I mean, I guess that was always The Sims, right? You get some new objects and things to click on, and it's neat for a moment. And maybe you can start a new playthrough catered with those features in mind. But then you get bored of it again. 
pretty easily. Where's 1080 snowboarding? That game needs to come back. That and Wave Race. I'm waiting for those. Oh, this is not being controlled very well. Oh well. Since he's freezing, we gotta warm up. And we haven't spent our festival tickets for all the other ones, but these little cocoa booths over here. Uh, buy food. Yeah, and we can have her redeem the tickets in the other one. Every uh, festival, every season, the things that you can redeem your tickets for are different, but it's all, you can buy it all in the buy debug menu under miscellaneous. But it's all little things like a gnome, umbrellas, things like that. There might be some big things. I gotta look. Oh, yeah, the food is different. Stuff that you can't possibly cook at home is here. It doesn't satisfy you very well, though. Ah, clam chowder coffee would be good, eggnog. Fruit punch. Oh, hot chocolate. Yeah, so some stuff is the same. But yeah, like hot chocolate. Actually, I think there is an espresso machine where you could make that. But I'm not sure, but Order. my mind is saying this will help warm him up and get rid of that moodlet. But maybe not. Mixology skill. Oh, maybe you can make hot chocolate with that. And that would make sense. So we could get mistletoe or snowy the snow bear. Well, I mean, that would be a good thing to get and then give to the kids that we might have. So yeah, you can see all that stuff is just all the things that are here at the festival. Mistletoe, I forgot was a thing. I don't think I've ever messed with it before. We'll see what it does. I want to have enough for Snowy the Snowboard. Snow bear. Snowboard. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. We'll just have to remember whenever we do have a kid to give it to that. Apparently I'm playing this longer than I expected. Going all the way with these, this family. Still not sure what all the way entails though. Just showing off seasons right now, I suppose. But then having kids opens up generations then. And then there's always Island Paradise. But I don't know. I don't think the interest is there. And it's a bad thing to subject myself to, I think. Yep, so there we go. That's about it. There's no sense skating on that thing. It's the same thing. We've seen the Winter Festival. Pretty empty, too, because of The Sims 3. <laughs> this thing is not helping him at all. Whatever, let's get out of here. It's time. Leap into his arms and then pop the question. You can notice I placed a wedding arch, some rose bushes, and two cherry trees, but because of winter, the trees are kind of dead, so... But propose marriage, it's about time. A shoe? <laughs> that reminds me of a Dr. Evil from Austin Powers when he first sees the dude with the mole on his head. What? Due to a terrible- that was the worst timing for that message. Due to a terrible fiscal year. No holiday bonus. We're now engaged. You can have a private wedding, which is what I usually do if I just want to get it done and over with. Or you could throw the party. Ah oh, yes, a holiday bonus. Snowflake Day has arrived. That's what that jingle was. Oh, wow. That literally happened at the exact moment that thing happened. Well, okay. Promise that. Throw a gift-giving party. Uh-oh. Give a gift. Sure. And a bachelorette party. Okay. We've got more stuff to explore. I didn't know bachelorette parties and bachelor parties, I would then assume. But gift-giving is part of Snowflake Day. I don't think I've ever done that. I'm curious. Oh. So we should do that and then throw a wedding party. Yeah, we could just click on it now. Before it had nothing on it except for the Enros mod. Um, yeah, there is a bachelor party one. Look at that. But okay, we want to do a wedding one, but gift giving first because I don't think I've ever messed with this for all the time that I've had seasons. So casual attire and it's all these same people that we're not actually friends with. They're just... I cheated the relationship for... Employment purposes. Such a shame that we cannot invite the college people in that menu. I think I have everything I need for the wedding. I don't know if you need chairs. You might. I think it tells you, though, if I do. So, what are we making these people for the gift-giving party? We're going to serve breakfast. No, dessert. 
Pumpkin pie, why not? We have plenty of pumpkins. There's not enough room in your home to put a gift pile. You better clear some room first. What? Oh, man. Wait, okay. Can we quick remedy this? I don't want to be in build mode for nine years. There's The snow went away. Uh, what if we just angle a wall so that I have to go in the bathroom to get to this room? Like, really, we just need a square room, right? That's big enough. I don't even know what this entails, though. How big does the room have to be? Uh, let's just do something stupid and we'll just delete it after the fact. Just like I did with the swimming pool that I built earlier. Uh... One down. One over. Yes. And then we'll just move the window, hook it around. Beautiful, that'll work. Ah, the bills are here. Pay the bills. Yeah, you can see that room. I literally just copied the living room wall and floor and moved the mistletoe into it. What are you booing me? Because I'm a plant in the snow? Ah, wait, she brought something. What is that? More pumpkin pie? Oh, no, it's mac and cheese. Okay. Why are they booing her so much? Okay, so there's a little carpet. Wait, we need a Christmas tree then. Is there a Christmas tree? I don't remember seeing one, honestly. Okay. Should we do this right away? Because the highlight here that I just want I just want to get married and be done with winter because there's not much more to do. But I guess this is part of winter. This is a snowflake day thing. Unless you could throw this kind of party anytime. That would be weird. Let's bring a serving to Emma Hatch, I suppose. Or no. Molly French. The one in the maiden outfit. How soon we forget. What are you doing? So you re really just need four. Well, I don't know. I don't know what this entails. Is there a Christmas tree? I cannot find a Christmas tree for the life of me. I wonder if I could plant a real tree. There we go. This is Christmas. Get in there! So stupid, why is there no Christmas tree in a Seasons pack that has emphasis on Christmas-like themes? So dumb. It bothers me. Well, Molly French is happy, and this is already just as boring as, like, what we did with the costume party. That was actually more interesting than this. Uh, chat with Molly. Do we want to? Anna Molly. Isn't that a, that's an Incubus song, right? Uh, Anna Molly. Oh. Has a great bass line to it, too. That's one I learned, one of the first songs I learned to play on bass. You, while they eat, since you don't do that, just photosynthesize by the mailbox. Boom, there we go. <laughs> it's such a weird thing, but hey, it works. Yeah, we gotta get this thing rolling here, let them eat a little bit. But then I just want to have the wedding party. And that literally, as soon as they walk in the door, I'm just going to click get married. Because we are getting up there on time. <laughs> Hopefully this is somewhat interesting to anybody who is watching it. I don't know. I kind of, I get excited playing it. I get addicted to it. And then I hate myself after the fact for it. Because that's just what The Sims does. But sometimes it is a little tricky to think of things to say, to keep it interesting, especially when you play for so long. What? What broke? Okay. Something in the kitchen must have broke. It was probably the dishwasher again. Okay, so we do need a pretty spacious room since everybody sits around it. This is weird. Do we actually get gifts or is it just an animation? Because I seem to remember in The Sims 1, there was something... You could plant a Christmas tree and then open the gifts around it, but they just, like, literally shook it, and then it disappeared. Same thing like that, really. Oh, no, we have mistletoe in the family inventory. Okay. Well, now I wish I didn't spend the tickets. Oh. <gasps> that weird clap. A Maxoid Game Simulator. Well, we'll just be selling both of those things. Do we get to see what they get? Oh, he's thinking about a candle. Okay. So they think about whatever they just got. That's interesting. Why isn't... The, oh, it's her turn. A 
No, what? Oh, she got an umbrella. And what? <laughs> she got nothing. Ah, I feel bad now. Well, whatever. Let's... We're done here. That was the extent of the gift-giving giving party. Just as boring as the other ones, really. Probably one of the most boring, honestly. Let's try this mistletoe real quick, and then off to the wedding party. Does it do? Ah, oh, yes, I see. Hang on. Let's just keep this going here, chat. But what is this? Kissed under the mistletoe, plus 20 mood, okay. So it does have a little bit of a benefit, I suppose. Wedding party time, let's do it! Formal attire, of course, because it would be weird otherwise. I mean, you could have a swimwear wedding. There's no need to play by traditional rules. Yeah, as soon as possible, let's just do this. Not that other dude. I don't want to invite him. He's annoying. <laughs> I don't know. He's been crying in the front door. It bothered me. So he's not coming. You should do some early preparations such as purchasing and placing wedding arch. I did that. Arrange seating. Okay, we do need chairs and maybe a buffet table. Alright. There, that should work. Somewhere right about here. Wedding cake on the table that was by the grill. We got some things. See, that's what it's supposed to look like if it wasn't snowing. All right, let's do this. My formal wear for this sim, I don't think we've seen it yet. It's just, it's not really suited for a wedding. Formal wear, it's time. What? That's athletic wear. Did I pick the wrong one? No, I definitely did not. Athletic is right there. Really? Why is her formal wear an athlete's thing? <laughs> no, that's bothering me. I don't care that mine is not suit a suit. But let us plan this outfit. There's got to be a wedding dress somewhere. One would think. In the full outfits menu, if it ever loads. Look at that. How is that considered formal wear at all? She doesn't even have the inappropriate trait. So yeah, we'll go to the full outfits, and I'm sure there's something that's suitable. I don't even know why I care. Why do I care? These are all like mini dresses. You gotta go to the base game outfits, I suppose, because they're usually kind of... Ah, yeah, here we go. Is this... Why are they the same? Oh, one has a necklace. Okay, well, yeah, well, that's fine, right? It's a white dress, wedding dress. Okay, are you changing? Why aren't you changing? I think he just did. Yeah, see, there's the outfit. It's from late night. It's not a suit, but I don't care. We're just going to get married because winter is done at this point. There's not really much else interesting that we haven't seen. No kids to play with or anything, so let's just get married. And then I suppose we still have to see the spring festival. And we still gotta figure out the kids' situation. I feel like I've talked about it enough that I should show it, but... I don't know, I just feel concerned. I'm back and forth with having fun and... Saying stuff and then... Feeling like everything is just super boring. Why is she in a bathing suit? It's so weird. Ooh-la-la! Are we doing this? What's going on here? Snork! Frozing! Zembrick! Gwendol Lurko! How hard would it be to code Sims to instantly go sit on the bench and get everything started? Well, whatever. Here we go. It's a nice day for a white wedding. Isn't it sweet? He's trying to keep the trees in the picture, but you gotta get up there up and close. Also close to that girl's butt. Mm-hmm. 
They're now married. Yes, the first guest has arrived. Oh, that was old. So now we can cut the cake. Let's do it. <laughs> what is with that clap? That little, I don't know. It's like they're just clapping the tips of their hand. <laughs> that girl, Molly French, must be inappropriate wearing a bikini at a time like this. Unless that's her formal wear. We've seen Miss Planson had a uh, athlete wear. Stop clapping and cut the cake. Jeez, this game. There we go. We did it. And nothing happened. But we got a memory. Everybody have cake, except for the plant sim who cannot eat food. I think he can, but then she gets the negative stuffed mood look. So we're done here, right? What kind of cake is that? It looks kind of strawberry. This woman. Emma Hatch, right? Is that her name? I don't know, she just looks funny to me. And Jared Frio, I still remember you. That yellow speedo booing everybody every two seconds. Uh, yes, so we're done here, I think. We got married, right? So what could you do? I know, I got the perfect thing. You're going to go here and just bury yourself in the ground because <laughs> you're that miserable already in your marriage. Anyway, Merry Christmas, you guys, and I hope you have a good holiday. And if I continue this, I'll see you next time if you stick around. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Take care.